I see absolutely nothing wrong with touching this P-switch. Nothing wrong whatsoever. This phenomenon, dubbed P-spood, grants hyperspeed to anything. I am always a super big fan of hyperspeed glitches. They're some of my favorites. Let's see what they got. I have no idea, Baka. Whoa. Oh. Wait, we've seen this one before. Right? Wait, it moves. Those things move though, that's so weird. Why do the, the launchers move? Okay, so we've seen something like this one before. Let me see if that's all it is. Oh, oh, you can use it, whoa! Okay, 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 I see what they're saying. Look at that, that's crazy. So you can use it to, tra to change any projectile. Also, why can they shoot through the spikes but they can't shoot through the ground? This is, okay, this is really interesting. So you could use this to make all sorts of weird projectile trolls. <laughs> you could definitely make projectile trolls with this. Wait, is there more? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> oh my god, okay, this is amazing. This is amazing. Oh, welcome, Major Kid. Whoa! I want to see the the rocky wrenches go fast. Yeah, whoa! Wow! Okay, this is awesome. Yeah. Oh my god. Hyper yeet. <laughs> I call this the hype. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hyper booty! Hyper booty! Wait a minute, you didn't tell me there was hyper booty. All right, get this, get all of this into a level ASAP. <laughs> I love how, I love the progression of this troll. It's like, oh, Mario can move really fast. Oh, projectiles can move really fast. Oh, we can hyper speed slam wiggler booty into your dome. <laughs> Uh, this is why this is why I have faith in human this is why I have faith in humanity guys see we don't we don't have anything to worry about because when humans get power they just make hyper speed booty blast it's fine all right it's fine we're all benevolent level creators in the end I am starving so let's do another in a moss level no Yoshis were harmed in the making of this level clown car zip by exclamation point aka zig then after this food. Okay, those clown cars are now in the wall, and... <laughs> Fly away to victory, all right. What, so this is like the, this is like... Look, it's moving into the wall. It is slowly moving into the wall. On and off block collision, why? Yep, still broken. Still broken! Well, look at it! It gets permanently locked on the, the spike. Oh my gosh, what is happening? That's amazing. That has, again, awesome troll potential. It's only when I stand- Oh, what's gonna happen when I get the big mushroom? <laughs> of course! Yes. That's exactly how I would have done it too. <laughs> Everything is working as intended. Well, wow, it's cool how you can break the blocks while you're doing that too. Oh, bye. <laughs> Look how it just boop, 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 jumps down. Yeah, that's a great CP1 setup. <laughs> Interesting, so if you have one music block, it sort of breaks it. Naked pipe! Naked pipe! I shouldn't go over here. Oh, why did I do this? Why did I do this? Zig, I hate you! Why do you put trolls in your demonstration levels? What would happen if I tried to jump out during that? I wonder if it would work or if it would break. Uh-oh! Okay, yeah, Zig. <laughs> I don't think there's anything you can do about it, but... Yeah. Turns out when you try to jump out, it's bad. Go back in, Luigi! Okay, in the pipe we go. 
Oh boy, there's more. What's gonna happen? Oh, when the P-Switch runs off, I'm gonna be inside the P-Blocks. And I guess that's gonna do something. Huh. What? Did I do it wrong? There's arrows ho pointing down and right. Oh, I think I'm supposed to hold down and right. Yep. Oh, I can wait, I can control it. Hold on. You can control it. You, by pressing different buttons, I can make it stop and go at will or control it. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. All right, hi. Hi, what? Wait, wait, what? 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 What the hell was that? What in the hell was that? We are absolutely going on a magical journey. <laughs> Holy crap, this tech is amazing. This tech is insane. What if I want to go in the back side of that? Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> you should block off the rest of this thing if you can. Is this an old version of the level? It might be. I don't even remember when I downloaded this. I was expecting them to just like ram me and CP1 me somehow. <laughs> that was amazing. All right. All right. Now you all have the tools. You all now have the tools. Go create monstrosities. <laughs> oh, let's do this because I think this is, I think this is, uh, red cans are safe to stand on. This glitch is outrageous. Um, if anybody hasn't seen this before, you can make these like majestic mechanical contraptions that just. <laughs> Look at this beast! Look at this beast! Return to your people! <laughs> Makes sense. I see nothing wrong with this. The physics check out, okay? The physics check out. Yes, flying machines! You can make these amazing flying machines. Okay, I have to go to the left, but then go on the flying machine? <laughs> what does that say? Whee! Whoa! I wonder what makes them do this. I don't understand how this setup works. Does anybody understand how this setup works? I don't get how it works. Just as Newton described, yes. The burner, oh, the burner is pushing them. And that did, so what? It doesn't even need to be attached. That's the part that, that's the part that I don't understand. <laughs> it's the final countdown. This is the definition of fly away to victory. So you can make the move at different speeds too, which is cool. Oh, there's a moon. Wait, where am I? <laughs> oh, all right, we're landing. <laughs> Came back down for a smooth landing. Do I want this moon? I don't know if I wanted that moon, but I got it. What? <laughs> what controls how fast it moves? <laughs> Look at it jiggle. What controls how fast it moves? Because all these freaking things move to different rates. That's really interesting. <laughs> so, <laughs> see you later, friend. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for coming! <laughs> the cannon trying to stay on it? Yeah, it looks like it is. It's like it has some sort of uh, collision or something. Check DMs. Okay, do we have the setup? Does anybody understand how to set up that contraption? So if you look at this screen right here, <laughs> there's like a goom rat inside of a P-switch? And then you hit the P-switch? Something, something, something. What is, I don't understand how the setup works. 
The idea is that after activation, all cannons are attached to other cannons. Oh, in a circular way, so they move along each other. Yeah, I think that makes sense. So if you look closely at the setup at this part right here, the cannons are like, cannon, cannons can be attached to walls, and the cannons are all attached to the blocks. Um, but when you hit the P-switch, they become unattached, and I guess the way they all become unattached together makes it freak out. Three out of four thwomps recommend you walk on them? What the heck? Unum. Unum plus? What? Is that a... Is that Latin or something? I have no idea. <laughs> what?! Oh man, I almost don't want to play this because this is like... These are brilliant troll setups. <laughs> That's so stupid. Yeah, Shano, this is sort of wasting troll tech. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I wanted to see if it would spin off of it, and it does. Well, I'm already in this deep, so I may as well play it, but I gotta be careful with these. I don't want to spoil troll tech. I don't think I can stand on this one. It looks higher up than the others. Yeah, it looked higher up than the others. Oh, did I play an old version? Is there new Dave the Lizard content planned? Hopefully. Wait, can you walk on this? Let's see. <laughs> I'm assuming it will kill me if I don't see. This is so janky. This is now even jankier. We have now increased the jank. Good job, Nintendo. <laughs> You've done it again. How does collision work? How does collision work? Wait, there's more? Oh my god, there's more. There's more. What's gonna happen? Do I Z or no Z? Oh, I should have Z'd. Oops. I'm dumb. I should have Z'd. Oh my god. I wonder if the left one doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> what? What? <gasps> what? Wait, are you telling me? Are you telling me that if I if I jump, if I spin, it spins on it. Wait, look, I just landed. Did you see that? Something made me land. Did you see that? I swear I just landed and it stopped spinning. What made me, what made it happen? But I can walk onto it, but if I jump onto it, oh, I don't die on this one. Okay, I don't die on this one. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Why don't I die on this one? Why did I die on all the other ones and not that one? Nothing makes any sense. <laughs> makes sense to me, said no one ever. <laughs> Three out of four thwomps recommend you walk on them. Uh, that's hilarious. All right, y'all, this is Booty Clip Cavern version two. All you had to do is follow the arrows by exclamation point. It's like in Metal Gear Solid when you get detected. <gasps> okay. Oh, I think this is one of those weird mechanic contraption levels or something. Wait a minute, those... <laughs> Wait a minute! Uh, that mouse is going right through the P-Blocks! <laughs> yep, this game's janked. <laughs> yep, this game's broke AF still, good to know. <laughs> P-Blocks are merely a suggestion. I like how the mouse gets briefly stuck for a second and is just like dee -dee 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 -dee. <laughs> I'm working with collaboration with both you guys. What is this? Oh, hi friend. <laughs> okay, troll potential of this trick is very high. The potential for trolls of this clip is really high. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Whoa! Yeah! Ah! I didn't even realize that there was a pipe that was spitting out more of them onto my head. 
a lot of stuff to do. Okay, go faster this time. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, wait, this is a troll level. Hold on. We don't need to make, we don't need to wait for someone to make a troll level out of this. This already is a troll level. It's weird that it goes flying. So wait, do I not want to be in here or where's my key? Where's my key? I don't think I can do anything else over there. Let's just go fast here. That's definitely not it. Oh. What's going on? Oh, is it the one that goes up there? Oh, okay. Okay, I don't know where I get the key from, but we're getting keys. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, they like expand. Yo, thank you so much for the raid. It's gotta be a barb raid, right? Ah! Stay back, Dragons. Okay, we can schnad on in here. Uh, you guys are seeing, you guys are seeing Nintendo programming at its finest. They, this is, this is the jankiest thing that I have seen since a bar of ROM hack. We are, we are currently knee deep in the jank. Wait, I'm not. Okay, we are, we are now bully deep in the jank. <laughs> what is happening? Do those kill you? Oh wow, I thought, I was wondering if the, um, if the donut blocks. Look at that, they try to push me in. They try to push. You like go partially in. So the, everything that's happening here is when donuts in 3D world fall on top of anything and push them into P blocks. Massive jank is the result. Oh jeez. Okay. What's gonna happen here? <laughs> What's gonna happen here? Can he go through this? Oh, what? This game is so bad! This game is so bad! How does that work? Wait, do I have to go in this pipe and it's gonna... <laughs> this game is so bad! Oh, what is this? What is this? <laughs> I see absolutely nothing wrong with touching this P-Switch. Nothing wrong whatsoever. Run! <laughs> oh, jeez, I almost didn't make it through that. I just collected something inside of that P-Block. I should not stand on the spike. Yeah, someone needs to, all right. All right, everybody, fire up the troll engines and get your brain juices concocting some new trolls because this has so much troll potential. We all the climbing animation. Whee! All right, well, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Where did he go? These, wait, hold on. Come, on, come here, friend. We're going on a magical journey. <laughs> oh, it's gonna let me through there. Oh god, dodge the spike. Dodge the spike. Don't spaghetti the spike. Wait, no, now I can get through here. Oh, don't get hit by the spike. Don't get hit by the spike. <laughs> nice rom hack, Panga. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is probably gonna be bad for me. Oh! Blast! Yes! <laughs> you just call Skip Squeak moles? I'm sorry, they look like moles. <laughs> that is an amazing setup. That is an amazing setup. I love that setup so much. Wait, what's happening? Uh, welcome, friend. Nice of you to join us. 
Dabba, 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 dabba. What's your other favorite? Probably your street. Okay, get out of here. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Wait, what's the... Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm fixated on the... <laughs> Piranhas. Okay. Uh, does this do something? Whoa! <laughs> All right. I mean, this looks bad, but after everything else that's happened... Oh, it actually does kill you? Somehow I just expected it to not kill me after everything else that happened. I think I want to go up here. Yeah, this looks right. Wait, what's the way to get... Hold on, how do I get to that door? Or is there a path? Oh, I need to go down here. Okay, I just go down here. <laughs> Does this just hit it? It's not quite hitting. What if I hold down? It's not holding down. Let's do the reset door. Oh, it hits you twice. I get it, the donuts have to, it's like the other one finishes the job after the first one pushes you partially through. <laughs> you could have, oh my God, if you had like a bunch of sequential falling ones, you could probably push stuff through lots of things. Okay. So this probably just goes through it. Yeah, with the, so with the, um, Zig, I have a question. If it were only clouds, would it not push you through? Does it require the P-block here for this to push you through? Or would it work if it were just two clouds? Okay, it would work with two clouds. I think we come by Nico. It does need the it does need the P block. Wow. Okay. So without the uh, P block, this won't work. That's interesting. interesting. Oh. Do I want that door? You can open it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Do I want this? Okay. CP one. Do I want this? Do I, I mean, is it really CP1? There's a naked pipe right there. I shouldn't have gone, I shouldn't have gone in here. Wait, why did I do this? Wait, I can just die, right? Oh, is there no way to die? There's no way to die, is there? Zig, why? Why doesn't it just kill you if the blocks fall on you? I think that's the part of the collision that I don't understand. Why doesn't it just kill you? Wait a minute. Is this a softbox thing? Is this a softbox? What, what's jankier? The mechanics of Mario Maker or this level? <laughs> I like how you have a pipe that's literally just labeled CP1 and it's in fact CP1. Like, I got, I got exactly what I was promised. No more going in that door. What if I hold down? What if I hold right? Oh, I need a mushroom. It's, it's trying to tell me I need a mushroom. What is happening? What's happening? Hold on, do I... I don't think I want to hit that. <laughs> I've got a sneaky suspicion that I do not want to hit that. Wait, what's this? Oh, hi. <laughs> Hello, mushrooms. So that's why there's that big, long section right there is to set up crunching all those mushrooms together. Okay, now I can go back here. Okay. This is so weird that that car just went through the wall. Okay, now this should work. And goal! All right, P-Switches, working as intended. P-Switch blocks, not a single bug. Not a single bug. <laughs> yeah, there is P all over that flagpole. There's actually a level of collision priority, which is why I think that this works. Since P-Blocks have a different priority than um, other blocks, the enemy thinks they can go there. And out of the higher priority, hard blocks. So ground, hard block, switch blocks, and he's like blasters one way. That's interesting, Happy Lappy. That makes sense. Because the protein or the vaccine is being made in a plant, could uh, a person who has, say, an allergic reaction to that plant also have then that same allergic reaction to the vaccine that was made in that plant? Uh, that's a great question. Um, fortunately, plant, vex plant allergies 
you, one could one could choose plants that it is very rare or unlikely for anybody to have an allergy to but even beyond that um it is entirely possible to remove those allergens which is what's done now with a lot of stuff as well so like if you produce a product um that you know whatever things they're making it in right now um they'll often be purified to extremely high levels though again that is more costly to do that and that would remove any sort of contaminants that anybody could have a negative reaction to um that's an interesting question though i'm not aware in the current plant systems that are used like the one i mentioned about nicotiana benthamiana i am not aware of an example of anybody ever having an allergic reaction to something in it. I don't know if that means it doesn't exist though. There's a lot of, there's always, you know, there's that like one in a million or something that maybe, maybe I just haven't read about it. But I don't know, I actually would be interested to read more about that myself. I don't know of any potential allergic reactions um, to things that are in some of the commonly used plants for biotechnology, but I'd have to look into it more to know for sure. Do you know how many plant-made vaccines are FDA approved? Is this something that they are readily approving or is this something that it's sort of new and they're more hesitant to have go through? Definitely plant systems in general of making vaccines or any other treatment is new is so the the standard ways of doing it forever have been either in bacteria uh, bacteria were one of the first systems that were made like insulin was one of the first drugs ever made um, in a like living system um, and then yeast are sometimes used and then mammalian cells are also used plants are the newest one and so they um, they, there are very few products that have been approved from plant-made systems. Um, however, there are a couple, but none of them are vaccines. So as of right now, there are no vaccines that are currently licensed by the FDA from plants. And that, that mainly is an economic reason more so than anything else. It's so many companies are invested in their expensive bioreactors for making things in mammalian cells and all that. Like they've already put all the money into it. So they're not going to change to a plant-based system. Um, at least until it becomes so cost effective that it's you know pretty obvious and also the technology for um, producing these things efficiently in plants has really only happened in the last five or ten years um, people have people have been able to make these vaccines in plants but it was very inefficient so a lot of the work that we've done to um, again like speak the right genetic language to convince the plants to make large amounts of these things is all very recent developments uh, which is of course necessary for it to be cost effective for a company to make um, however there are some really interesting examples of things that have been approved so the very first uh, plant made treatment to ever be approved by the FDA is a treatment for a rare disease called Gaucher's disease um, and that is a genetic disorder where people lack a particular enzyme and not having that enzyme has devastating consequences so they need to take the enzyme because their body is not making it functionally by itself so some researchers what they did at a, a company called I think it's Protolix Biotherapeutics I think that's the right company they made transgenic carrot cells and so these are just the cells from carrots and these cells produce the enzyme that is missing in these patients with Gaucher's disease. Um, and they showed that people who, um, who uh, get the enzyme from these carrots are completely normal. It restores their enzyme levels normally, um, and that's great. And so it was, it was FDA approved, but then they went on to make it really, really interesting and cool. And I think that this really underscores some of the potential uh, of plant-based systems that is unique to plants because you couldn't really do this with anything else. So because carrot cells are edible, you know, <laughs> they, they made basically a carrot cell smoothie. Um, and these carrot cells actually protect the enzyme so that if people were to drink it, it gets protected from the stomach and then the enzyme can get absorbed into the blood through digestion. And so they showed that if people drink one glass of these carrot cells, um, then it restores their enzyme levels to normal values. And so in other words, it treats their condition and all they have to do is drink one you know, glass of basically carrot juice. Um, this, you can imagine, is significantly cheaper than producing it in an expensive facility with an expensive bioreactor, trying to purify just the enzyme that they need um, out of all the other things that are going on with all the mammalian cells, 
And that whole process is like 95% of the cost. And you can circumvent all of that completely just by drinking the thing rather than going through this process of purifying it and doing all this chemistry to remove every single thing except the target gene that you or the target protein that you want. So that's a really cool thing and I think it shows a lot of the promise of plant-based systems in the future. Um, there have been a lot of other uh, treatments that are on the verge of being um, accepted by the FDA and I mentioned Europe uh, is doing the first trials of taking human antibodies made in uh, plants and actually putting them in humans and showing that they work. So I think it has a very exciting future, but it's just on the cusp of being accepted. Bye. Thanks for coming. Inject the bacteria into a plant to create a plant-based vaccine. I'd love to explain how it works, my friend, but I lack the knowledge you need. Listen, I just know that they work and that vaccines are a good thing, okay?